gentlemen, welcome here to the demo. I am Mickey Rose A95, with the Indiana State Roadplay. I have a new tow truck that I did a video on, but it didn't record properly. And I want to do a tow, I want to do a tow truck video um, with my new character, um, Christopher Carter, with K's, K R I S, and then K A R T E R, not with C's, you know. Um, spelled a little differently, and I'm basically the cousin of Trooper Carter, goddamn it, Danny Scott character. This is my good character. This is basically my tow truck character. Works with Gene Davis in the future, which you'll see a video on where we do like small mechanic shop. Um, I want to look around and try to find like if I can get an MLO for another than if I pause the game. And we go over here to Polito. So, um, yeah, right here. So this is where the one gas station is across the street from the bank. Now, over here, there's like a little two-car garage, and then there's like a little shop. Maybe there is an MLO I could find. I'm pretty sure someone had to make something out of this. I mean, why wouldn't they? It's a gas station. I think it'd be cool. Like, but if it's a 24/7 that's inside next to the shop, okay, that's fine. We could be a 24/7 uh, next to a shop and. People could RP out the 24 7 if they want, and people could use this to RP when we're not using it, although it would technically would be our building, and um, we'd be the owners of it. Um, but yeah, I want to try to see if I can get an MLO in this area right here, because if you go down the street, here's the gas station, and then there's the mechanic shop, so, and I know that they got custom MLOs for mechanic stuff here. I mean, that'd be cool to get it in the future, um, but I mean, technically, someone at an RP owns that shop, so. I'd rather get something here. I mean, I know there's some other shops that I'll show you in the future that we can RP out of, but I basically want our own shop. But basically, this video is going to be me showing off this tow truck. Um, I am going to do a tow truck ad, and I'm going to let people know that there is tow on. Um, so if they need me, they can give me a call. But basically, I'm going to drive down to 68 with this tow truck after I make the call see if we get any um calls on um, back and then we'll see what happens on from there but basically this is the new tow truck i got it's a cab over engine which is a coe which is basically this whole entire cab is on top of the engine so technically the front trunk does open but that's only to get to your battery now if you want to get to the whole entire car you basically got to disconnect the battery um, I believe I'm not 100% sure I never owned one of these in real life so maybe the battery wire f that's connected to the battery is long enough to you can lift up the whole cab but yeah basically this whole entire cab would get lifted up in the air and basically that's how you would see the engine underneath and get to work on it now a lot of trucks do not come like this anymore you don't see a lot of cab over trucks anymore I mean you do time to time do we'll see them on the highway if you see them but it's it's a rare commodity that you do see that stuff and basically because well it's hard to work on these type of things if you try to get into an accident or whatnot and try to work on the engine or whatnot or whatever it's just really difficult so things changed and got different throughout the years and they got away and got rid of it but other than that basically this is what the outside looks like beautiful beautiful now you cannot change the paint color of this you cannot change the black um sides or like the uh, uh caution things in the back there is some extras you can add there is one extra that i guess doesn't work and it's glitched out in the back i'm not sure if it's because of our server or whatnot but um yeah all the other ones do work and i got them all onto the tow truck and whatnot but basically if we go to the vehicle extras, I'll show you the one that does not work. So if we go here, there's actually number five. And if we go spawn it, and let me see something like supposed to be there. I'm not as sure exactly what it's supposed to be. Oh, it's basically a truck sign that's supposed to be there. But see, the thing is, if I uncheck these oh wait maybe maybe i can use number five okay okay so i just figured out how to get number five to work 
it basically pops up that, but if I put the extra two on, yes, it gives me the cones and stuff up there. That's fine, I don't need that. Um, let's keep that for your little sun visor. But yeah. And these are your lights and whatnot on the side. But yeah, okay, so that's the reason why that clashes with extra two. Okay, I just figured that out. So I definitely want that. Let's get rid of... Keep the cones. Yeah, let's actually get rid of all that back there. There we go. Boom. And then we're going to go here real quick. We're going to go to the COE. And we're going to replace it. Because the things are dead now. As I say, you can't change the color of this and whatnot. Which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Um, nothing wrong with that, I guess. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, other than that. Um, this is the inside. Um, obviously, you can see the hands. They're kind of legit, in a sense. I would say that they're grabbing on the little bar right there that's connected to the steering wheel so grabbing on the sides which eh but I mean this is the inside and whatnot um and then this is the amber light that comes on top of uh, the tow truck and then obviously I could raise and lower the thing up for connecting the the chain up to a car to tow it um, the tow winch, I could raise it up and down, um, and obviously I could turn on my flashers, which I gotta turn the car for them to come on, so I turn the car on real quick, there you see the flashers, there's the amber light, and then here is the tow chain that goes up, and as you see, on the left side of uh, the tow winch, um, you've got another ventilation plate, and then that's where you got your brake lights at. So if I was to go forward a little, see, there's your brake lights right there. And then next to it is basically your turn signals. So the turn signals. And then your flashers, which then you've got the lights down below by the, the actual hook itself. And then you've got your lights up there. This thing is really, really cool. Now I'm going to vehicle options we are going to go to the vehicle doors now and we're going to open all the doors but we're also going to we're going to go under here alrighty so let's get on and get the F1 menu out of the way so, this is the inside of the cab now. It is a little glitchy, you can walk through it. So that's really not legit. But it is what it is, it's still a cool tow truck. I don't care that you can walk through it. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that's a little glitched about it. But you got your inside, you got your, uh, your shifter in the middle, which this is uh, manual, not automatic. It's old school style, cab over engine. And this is what the inside looks like. Then you go to your four-star that we open. We got your cones and whatnot that we can lay on the floor. And then back here we got um, the tow hook and everything, and you get your sledgehammer, some tools and whatnot. Now there was more stuff I had back here, but I kind of got rid of it. Now if I can get rid of the tools too, that would be pretty cool. But um, because technically, if I was on the highway speeding on it, those would fall off. But I mean, it's for show. It's for show, but that's the tow hook itself. It is really nice. And then in here, you got your little toolbox, and you got your uh, little gas containers. And this is the other side of uh, the tow truck. It opens up the glove box too on the inside, and the doors and whatnot. Pretty cool. And this is the front, which would be where you could put your coolant and whatnot in. And there's the engine underneath, and then um, whatnot, and your battery. And I could walk through it so we could see more. Um, so, but basically, this is what the inside of the engine looks like. It's a little glitch that you can walk through and whatnot. But there's your fan, your radiator, and whatnot. 
Um, yeah, pretty cool. And then the inside, you got your you got your uh, shifter, which is uh, it is a uh, four-speed, which is pretty decent. And it's cool, really cool, whatnot. But yeah, this is the cab over truck. So let's get inside. Let's actually turn the vehicle off real quick. Vehicle doors. And we're gonna close all the doors. We're gonna open them again just to make sure we're gonna close them. And then now we're gonna actually get on duty. <laughs> duty. <laughs> and say local tow is on. So I'll call if you need a tow. Um, let's go to all right. There we go. So if anyone calls that we need a tow, we'll, we'll get notified up there in the scar box. But. Let's actually go drive this thing around. Now it sucks because I did do a video on this truck with my buddy. You'll see his side come out. Um, but basically he got arrested um, because I had him play his Diggy Cheese. And I basically told him that I wanted to none other than um, have him, you know, basically go get arrested and whatnot, you know. Uh, well, not get arrested. Basically get the car, like, in a bad predicament where... I would have to, you know, pull it over, um, not pull it over, um, basically go grab it and then put it on my, and pull it away from the scene and take it back to my shop, um, but basically it came to the point where, um, that happened, I was recording, and apparently my recording did not record. Jesus. Cops just passing me. Fucking ridiculous, man. I don't even know. I mean, that could have been a cop. I didn't. I couldn't tell. But that's ridiculous, man. This thing doesn't go fast. I'm not trying to speed. You got some impatient people out here in this world. Impatient motherfuckers. <laughs> oh yeah, that's one of our new roads. I'll have to take you down. I'm not sure if I did a video with me ever going down one of those roads. And it was funny because I remember I got arrested with Jimmy Long in the bug and it crashed there in one of the videos you'll see on my channel. If it's dropped or hasn't dropped or gonna drop. And basically it was uh, Jimmy Long going down that road and it was dirt and then like a day or two later hop in and I'm like what the hell I'm like there's a semi truck going in there but I'm like that's a road and I told my buddy which is my brother god damn it and he was like no way and he came here and there was a road like, what was that I've got no message for it yet. Let's cause it to photo. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll do some passive RP, which is basically me seeing like a local or something called and they need me to pick up this truck. So I could demonstrate this truck for you. And whatnot, so we're gonna demonstrate and show you what we can and can't do now. I'll tell you, I did test this, and some personals that are hot seated that you gotta pay for, which are personals that people add into the server themselves, is basically um, some personal modded cars that are added to the game, it just will not tell them, it doesn't pick them up at all. Well, 
Someone's over here. They're gonna RP that Larry Paul does, and he's got a car he wants us to tank. Unless, no, this can't be a Civ. These are all manual cars. So we're gonna RP that. I need to pick up this truck if it does it legitimately. We're gonna find out. Kind of flashers. We're going to see if this car works. Let's go check the VIN. Let's see, what does that VIN say? I read the paperwork in the truck. Yep, yep, yep. And it does match. So let's see the truck I got again. Alright. Now, sadly, this is just out of RP passive. I don't want to get inside the truck because then it might break the window, so I'm not stealing it, but out of RP, I'm here to pick it up. If I can get it, which uh, you're about to witness if I can or can't. Jesus. What are you doing, man? I'm about to tow this car, man. From the dealership? Yeah, they did. Uh, the guy that bought it, he doesn't. Uh, he can't pick it up, and he needs a way to get it to his house. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah, so he hired me to come get it for him. So I'm here to pick it up. All right. Have a good day. All right, have a good one, man. All right, he was asking, "What am I doing?" But obviously, I'm here to get the car, but. Out of RP, I'm not going to be able to grab this one. So, as you see, there's certain cars I can and can't get. I'm not sure if it's just a tow truck, let alone itself. Um, so, I mean, I could try going towards the back and try. But there's no way to get that one. So, we're just going to actually go pick up this station wagon. We're gonna RP that. We're just taking it to someone's house and whatnot, type down. So let's turn the flashers on. Let's turn this on. Let's back her up some. We'll take him his car. Now I will say with the damage script that we do have in here, ugh, that we do have in here, ugh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> can't speak right. Now. But the damage script that we do have here in the server, um, I'm I'm not gonna say that uh, it does something when I'm towing vehicles and damages it but um, I do notice sometimes that after a while to after a while of towing um, as I keep on not being able to speak properly um, it has issues then I also notice that we do have a gas script which I believe is Big Daddy's gas script um, that OCRP uses um, because I'm person that did a review on our server Badger State Roleplay, which I don't know if I'm going to play in that server anymore because they won't let my brother have Dickie Cheese as a character name because they said it's not real, it's not legit, which is stupid, but um, basically, um, yeah, um, if they got that, that script and it doesn't show that we have a gas meter, so... That's another reason why sometimes I was realizing I was having issues with this tow truck as I was playing the experience with it. And it wasn't because, well, it was the, the, a truck problem or whatnot. It was actually the server doing maintenance on it and fixing things and adding things. And 
it came to a point where we have a gas script and it just it doesn't tell you so you basically when you see your vehicle about to sputter or whatnot it's not because the vehicle is broken it's actually because there's no gas but yeah so i believe the guy lives over here somewhere. Uh, there's his house. Right over here. Where are these SUVs in? And that's his house right there. Back around up. Alright. That's connected. Raise it up. As I said, this is basically passive RP with locals and whatnot, like I did the other day with a video you'll see in the future with Mickey riding the train, and they gave me some good RP about that. So, let's go tell the guy. Anyway, let's go tell him that his car is here and it's available. How do we get in all over here? Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, hey sir, what's going on? Yeah, uh, this is a uh, tow carter bringing your uh, your station wagon. Yeah, th that truck that you ordered for your son, I might have to get a flatbed to bring that out. Um, but, oh, you're going to go drive and pick it up with him? Alright, yeah, well I brought your car down. Yeah, why well, couldn't... Oh, he's just got his permit. Makes sense, makes sense. Well, then how... Oh... They're bringing, oh, so, both of you, the mom and the dad and the kid. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Well, there you go, man. Yep, just sign here. Sign there. Sign there. And here. And there. Also sign here. And there. And there. Flip the page. Sign there. Yep, yep. And I know it's a lot of signatures. And there. Also there. And we need one more right here. And then the last one's going to be... Right here. Oh wait, 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 no, wait. This is the last one. All right, thanks. All right, have a good one. Yeah, I know a lot of signatures. <laughs> All right, so we gave this guy his car that he ordered. I was gonna try to get uh, the truck, but I couldn't pick it up. As I say, there's some cars I can't pick up with that, which sucks. I know if I had the GTA version uh, of the tow truck, it would have picked it up, but this one doesn't for some reason. Which it is what it is, um, but out of RP, I mean, as I say, not not too many people are probably going to be calling for tow as much, and especially since I don't work for the Indiana State Police uh, I, ISP towing or whatever the hell it's called. Um, so, um, yeah, but dropped off his car. Right, now we're on the road again. Get out of here. Later, dude. Alright. Now let's actually take it down this new road so y'all can get to experience it. So basically, this is a dirt road that's in GTA. And basically, this is now a paved road, which is really sweet. And AI drives down here now, so it's even more sweet. And one thing I'm going to be talking about when I walk by. You see these two trailers up here to the left? One's going to be Jimmy Long's. One's going to be another of them, Gene Davis. And who knows? Gene Davis might get the one that's got the boat next to it. And he could argue that he's building himself a boat. That he needs to float the hell out of here and, and get away and maybe live in the middle of the ocean because he's getting tired of Jimmy showing up. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, this is a nice little new road that we got here in the server. I like it, which was funny as I was playing as Jimmy Long, one of my other characters. I literally was coming down this road, which will come up to the point and I'll show you exactly where it happened. But I was, uh, 
playing one morning, my brother was on his account and I was just causing him issues for his video. So that way you could have like a guy causing issues. It's early on, there wasn't too many sibs on. And then I was gonna take priority, but when it ever does, uh, whenever it says inactive for some reason on my end, like, and it's got no time limit, and it's like down to zero, I literally like can't do it but if it's counting down and it just says zero and it doesn't say inactive or whatever it lets me do it which is it's weird God, don't ask me how and why I don't know but yeah oh shit what the hell is this fucking assholes I know how to drive man Six and a half hours later. Cause an accident there. I can't pick him up with this thing. And are we gonna crash? No, are we gonna no, no we did not crash. But yeah, I think it was like right over yeah, right here. So when I was playing as Jimmy Long, my buddy told me to go off road right over here. And I basically went off road, listened to what he had told me to do, and I flipped it. And the reason why he told me to go off road, well, was because I was about to get pit. And then if I would have got pit it, no matter what, I probably would have crashed, even if I didn't, so. But yeah, this thing's pretty nice. Now with some of the modded vehicles and whatnot, it is a little bit more difficult to tow. Um, as I say, some of them pick up, some of them don't pick up and whatnot, you know. Um, and that guy was speeding and honking at me. I'm in a truck. What do you expect? This thing don't go fast. Bam. So, other than that, this is this tow truck. Now, So we're just gonna drive, drive around, see if anyone needs us, type deal you know. I don't think that car should be there, but I think there's that AI on there being dumb. Don't get me wrong, I love the AI that's been put back in, but I also found out that it wasn't CFEX or whatever, 5M that did it. I'm putting the admin, I mean not the admin, uh, the civs and whatnot back in, and cars, more cars on the traffic. Apparently, it is when you own your own server, you get a chance to sit there and add, you could add cars in, you could take the cars out, you could add civilian AI in, you could add the civilian AI out, you could have less, you could have more, but apparently the more traffic you do put inside your server to make it more legit, and the more AI that you do have in, apparently, um, it, it lags the server. And I know they had the train in here. They may have taken the train out. I know the train was not doing good for my eyes. My end here in Sandy. It was just the train always came by. Multiple trains. And it made no sense because there's only one in story mode. One train that drives on the track at all times. But multiple trains are spawning. And I got the uh, MVE mods. To make my graphics better. And basically that just train comes in the town and it just downloads because it's got to render and download the train coming in because of something new popping in in the area that you're at and it just lags your game and then once it lags it all it just it's no fun alrighty ladies and gentlemen there you have it that's the end of this video I'm in a different location I was gonna pull the other tow truck out but then a lot of like not a lot of sibs I said like two or three sibs showed up started talking to me and whatnot and I told them that I was busy setting up and they were still talking to me and whatnot and I figured you know what I'm gonna end it there um I need to go over the other tow truck some more um because I'm not 100% sure on how to exactly use it um correctly how my brother probably knows how to use it because he actually was trained and went to ISP towing and learned how to do that and whatnot but yeah, other than that, this is my uh, tow truck, my cab over engine tow truck, COE. Um, I love this thing, and um, this is one I chose personally that I wanted. My buddy, he had chose the other one, which 
the reason why he chose it. It's a gene towing, which it doesn't. Um, but other than that, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah, that's why I'm going to end it right here. Um, this is my tow truck. Um, I'll do the other one in the future. I was going to pull it out, and I basically kind of know how to use it already. But I want to be 100% sure I know what I'm doing. So that way, when I record the video and get it out there for you guys, I'm not having no uh, hiccups or anything. And I know what to do and whatnot, you know. But yeah. Um, so that tow truck will be for another display video. Um, I did have a video that I was going to drop that showed uh, me getting Dickie's bug and him being drunk. You won't see that on my side. You'll see that on his side. Now, I eventually want to do a video with me and Gene Davis, aka Goddammit Danny, where he is Gene Davis. I'm Christopher Carter. And basically, we're going to be working at a shop together. I want to look around for MLOs. I know that people say there's this, there's that we can use, but I'll, I personally would like to have one of our own and have a shop of our own. But one thing that does irritate me is I never had this tow. And as soon as I get it, I start wanting to do tow RP and then everyone else and their mama and daddy, babies, whatever type of scenario or pun or whatever you want to use decides to grab it out of their ass and pull it out of there when it was probably shoved up there in the fucking dusty area and pull them out seems legit right but I'm not upset it's just really I want to do some tow RP and I don't want to really be a part of the city and whatnot now if they could physically turn this car into uh, a police tow and change delivery and it doesn't have to have the police lights I care two shits about that but if they were able to do that, maybe I would decide in the future to join. But as of right now, this is the only livery we could choose for it. I don't know if they could add liveries themselves, but if they could, maybe in the future I would decide to join the, 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 the police and help them tow and whatnot. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end it here. Um, I wish I could have brought up the other one. Some people came and started talking to me, as I said. There was like, like two or three of them. And, well... I would say three of them, but only two of them. That's why I said two or three of them, because the third one, he was kind of mute in his car, just sitting there. Um, but the other two were asking about this, and they said it was cool. And then one wanted to drive it. I told them no, and he said why. I said because I said so. It's my car, and plus it's a personal, and I don't want you to save it. And they said they wasn't going to save it, but I said nope, you're not driving it. It's my personal. I said until the Indiana server... Um, makes all the cars in here not hot seat it and they let us all use it whenever we want and they don't got personals that are this guy's or that guy's or this girl's or that girl's you know then no no one gets to use my personals that's just how it is i'm sorry but it is what it is but other than that ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna quit talking the air off a little passive rp picking up a car dropping it off and taking it back i hope you all enjoyed this episode when gene davis and i come back in the future and you see a video drop with this it's going to be where we're going to get like a few tow trucks i know it's going to be this one it's going to be the other moderate one which i will actually pull out before i end it real quick so you guys get a glimpse of what it is on my side um, don't want to replace a vehicle so we're going to go here we're going to go utilities we're going to no not utilities industrial um, and it's basically going to be this one right here, which jeans is purple, mine's red, because I figured if I can't change the color on that one, I want things that are going to be all red. It's going to be the company color. If Gene wants to keep his purple, he is basically going to be the co-owner, and I'm going to be the other co-owner. So that's his personal toe. If he wants it purple, he can have a purple. But I want basically everything to match the company truck which is going to go off the old school company truck which I'm going to RP that I've been doing this for years so that's my old style one I bought and that's what it's going to reference and be but this is basically the tow truck and this is the package of the tow truck these are the lights whatnot and I could throw something on the back we got an attached script we got a detached script we got a cargo script we got a detached cargo script and we got a few different scripts that we can use to tow certain things with whatever we got but we got this these two styles right here and then I'm gonna DV this one and then also today um, it's in commercials we got a few other ones but um, 
I'm just gonna pull them out. So we got the big ass toe. This one right here. Basically, the only thing I don't like about this one, if I turn my camera angle around, it moves the wrecker uh, thing with the chain on it. That's not legit. So say I'm driving in the car and then I'm trying to look behind me because there's cops coming and I go like this, I take the camera and the car's behind me. It's gonna start turning. It's gonna screw it and mess it all up. And that's not going to be legit. Um, let's see. Then another one that we got, which I'm going to turn off to replace the vehicle, um, is we got other than this one right here. No, not this one. Um, yeah, it's this one right here. We got this one, which is another tow style vehicle. I'm not sure how this one works, um, but it was given to me today. Um, I got my yep, and then this one we are given, which is an independent tail company, which basically that's what that is independent. But so we'll basically use the big heavy wrecker. I don't really like it though, but that will be a part of fleet. Um, this one will be a part of fleet. Uh, the other personal will be a part of fleet, and then the old school one will be a, they're a part of fleet. I don't want to have too many vehicles, you know. But, like, at least four or five, a handful. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, those are some future vehicles. And the other tow vehicle that I got that is a personal. I will show you guys what it does in the future, what it's all about. I want to probably uh, get, as I say, a little bit more familiar with it. Because I'm not, as I say, I don't really know anything about the tow scripts or whatnot. Um, my buddy, he does all the towing um, for real in the server because he applied to be a... Uh, for the, the Indiana State Police towing and tow for them and whatnot, or me, I don't really want to do anything further than being a civilian here on the server. I mean, if people want my help, people want to roleplay with me, or people need help editing videos or something, shoot me a DM. Don't be afraid. See that in flowers. Add me as a friend. Direct message me. Sometimes I don't see when you ping me in the servers or whatnot because I'm applied to so many different Discord things and I get so many notifications that I have everything in my Discord muted because I'm tired of the boop 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 off on my phone on my computer and trying to sit here eat dinner or something or just do something and not worry about roleplay or not watching TV or and I just hear but other than that ladies and gentlemen don't forget to like comment share subscribe um, I hope you all enjoyed this little passive RP I did where I'm just you know RPing that there's you know there's people in the game that are locals that are really real too it's just their locals and people want to just do RP with just civilians which that's cool I don't mind RP with civilians but there's times when there's locals and certain things happen and the locals call it in and this and that you know and that's why they say they love when I do passive RP because I was in the train I did some 911 call center to buy a ticket and it led to this then it led to me doing that and I wasn't allowed to do what I was doing and then it led to the cops coming and it led to me either going to jail or not going to jail which you'll have to find out in the future when that video comes out but then I get told after doing that scene they love my passive RP I really enjoy it I really do I had a good time doing that scene I have a good time doing all the passive RP by myself I can get in by myself I don't need civilians to roleplay with I just need myself some ideas of what I'm probably going to do then I RP that hey this happens and then a local walking by calls it in and says hey I seen this hippie or i seen this guy doing this or i seen someone robbing the bank or this or that or whatever or it, it depends what the rp is going to be you know so other than that ladies and gentlemen um i can't wait to do more with this tow truck and i plan on maybe in the future maybe going live with my tow truck company when i get it fully functioned and working properly how i want it and i want people to come join our server indiana state roleplay and whatnot so other than that You'll, you'll get to have some good RP with people like me in the server and my buddy goddammit Danny and many others. But other than that, don't forget once again to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.